Okay, it's time to craft. You will need some scissors and one sheet of paper. That's it. And with that, we will make David's little pouch and five pebbles. The one he used to slay the giant. So go and get the items that you need and come back and meet me here. Okay, got them? Right. I'm going to just take one piece of paper. So I'm going to put this to the side. So with this piece of paper, you want to make a perfect square. And you do that by taking the corner of the paper and folding it over with a point at a diagonal like this. Now you do it flat because it's very difficult to do it like this. But it's just so that I can show you the fold that you need. Okay, take your finger and crease along the line like that. And this section here comes off to make the square. So you need to fold this up and over on top of this piece of paper. And you can see it's close to the fold here. And when you open it up, you then have a diagonal cross and a line going straight across here. You need to take your scissors and cut this strip off. So I'm going to do that now. You do that with me. And this will make your square. The square piece is going to make David's pouch. Okay. So I'm almost there. Got my strip of paper. Keep that. We need that for something later on. But at the moment, I'm going to put the scissors to the side and this piece of paper to the side and concentrate on this square. So that fold in the middle like that is your first fold. So fold it back over and once you've done that, turn it so that the fold is at the bottom and the point is at the top. Okay. Now you're going to take this corner and you want it to fold over here so that you get a straight line on the top. Okay. So, can you see how there's a straight line on the top and it comes at an angle like that? Focus on this bit being straight and that will take you to the right place. So the corner is touching this line. Yep. So just fold that over and then put it back with the point at the top. Now, this point is going to go all the way over to this side. Okay, so you take that it all the way over to this side and then you can see that it lies directly on top and then you squeeze that bit down okay so you should have something that looks like this yeah at the top here can you see there's two pieces of paper here okay so you take one part and it folds down on one side and you take the other part and that folds down there. So I'm going to fold this one over the top, pull it down so you get it right on top of that fold there like that. Okay, so it should make something like that. Turn it over and then fold this one down. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. If you turn it on its side, you will see that inside here, there is a pouch. Can you see that? So just open it up. When you open it up, take your thumb and your finger and hold the lines that you have folded. So you can see that I'm opening it up like that. And then underneath here, you're going to hit that on your finger. Okay, so you ready? One, two, three and you can see that it tilts in a bit. And that keeps your pouch open. You see? Oops, there we are. So there's your open pouch, perfect size for your hand. 
Now we're going to make the five pebbles from this piece of paper. So you need to take this paper and give it five pieces. So fold it in half. We're actually going to make six because it's easier that way. Okay. Fold it in half and then take this one just over until it looks like it's about the same distance from the fold as it is to the middle. You see that? There we are. So we fold that there and then fold it again on top of that. Okay. So you can see that it goes a little bit over, but that doesn't matter. Okay. So you now have three on this side. Do the same on that side. So fold it in until it looks about the same distance. Yep. And then fold it in again. Again, it's slightly over, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it's just an approximate guess. So you might go over or you might be under. And you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six strips. Cut each strip. So I'm going to do that now. And you do that with me. One, two, three, four, five cuts, but I've actually got six pieces. Okay, so I'm going to put one to the side. Now with this, you're just going to crumple it up as close as you can to a ball shape. Okay, so you fold it in half first and then just squeeze it in on itself. Try and roll it up as you do it. Okay, so I'm Tucking and rolling and tucking and rolling and tucking and rolling. And eventually, when you squeeze it all down, you should get something that looks a little bit like this. Let me try it. Ready, aim, fire. Oh, that was quite good. Okay, so that's one. And I'm going to place that inside the pouch. Do the same with all five pieces. Fold it in half, fold it in, fold it in, roll it around, squash it up, okay? Squeeze it as close as you can to a shape of a round pebble. Okay, I'm going to squeeze it all in. Ready, aim. You might be aiming at me this time. Fire! Oops, but I missed. It went over the top. Keep on doing that till you've got all five. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to find that one that went missing and then I'm going to leave you to do the rest. Okay, so I'm folding in, folding in, turning, turning. I'm also going to aim and fire. See if I can get you this time. You ready? All right. Squash it in, squash it in. Ready, aim, fire. It wasn't bad. At least I've got it in the pouch. One, two. Okay, keep on going and then meet me at the end. I'm going to do the rest of mine so I've got five of those little stones in my pouch. Enjoy. I'll see you soon. Five pebbles and a pouch. Get ready. Okay, have you made yours? Give it a shake. Have you got all five in there? Fantastic. Well, if you have somebody else in your family who has made one of these, you can do some practice shots. Okay, so hang on a second. Here's one. So what you can do is empty them out. There we are. You see them there? Okay. And you can throw them. Oops. And try and catch them. One, two, and do all five. And if you get all five in, then you can move further away and practice the shot again. 
okay so you can practice the shots with people i'm just going to practice my shot right now i've got five more one let's see if i can get it right in the center two three four that was a good one five well maybe now i can get it in you ready Way. so practice your shots and remember how david managed to take down the giants the nine foot warrior champion giants goliath david knowing that god was on his side and with one smooth pebble got the perfect shot and down 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 came the giants have fun it's been great being here with you today i'll catch up with you soon bye for now